Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. Um, you know, it's funny. I woke up this morning thinking I was going to be doing something else, and then, uh, which was basically another art impressions video, but their coupon code was like expiring yesterday, but then on their website shows expires today, but it doesn't work. So I'm assuming it did expire yesterday. So I'm trying to figure that out before um, I make another video uh, talking about that. So, um, I am going to do the Anna Griffin Finishing School because I unboxed this, but I haven't gotten to it. So I really want to play with it. So, um, and I always, you know, give my disclaimer of, you know, any uh, links I have in the description box are affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you purchase items through those links. But having said that, you know, this is not available anymore for the auto ship and maybe not even for a single ship item. So, um, but I do say that because later on they might bring it back in stock or, you know, anything else that I might use, um, glues and things like that that are always in the description box. I do get that question a lot whenever people see like certain glues or especially the 3D glue gel. I have a link there. I think the link is to Craft Stash. I don't remember who it's to because not everybody sells the Colol 3D glue gel. Um, and sometimes it's in stock, it's out of stock, so you know, it, it, but the link is always there. And, and then I get a lot of questions about the Diamond Press Tacky Tool and I don't always have a permanent link for this because this one always goes in and out of stock from HSN and from my Diamond Press's site all the time. So. I don't keep a, a link to this, but you can find it on HSN or MyDiamondPress.com. And of course, with MyDiamondPress, you have now 20% off using my code VCDP, which is an affiliate code. Um, all right. <laughs> Having said all that, uh, let's open this up and get started. So like I said, I already unboxed this before, but, um, you know, like I said, I wasn't really planning on using this either. So let me re-familiarize myself with it this morning. Um... And I hope yours came in, you know, I ordered mine during craft day, so it came in with a bunch of other things, but somebody else I know here had said that um, hers came in and it was just in a box by itself, which is just the box that came in, right? It comes in like a brown box, um, like cardboard box. And, ooh, I'm going to put my pretty ring on. And, um, and it was all damaged, and that happens. I... I get Crafter's Companion boxes that way sometimes, the auto ships, the sub boxes, because sometimes that's all that's going out, right? So they send it to me just in the box it comes in, and I've never had it completely damaged, but that is a bummer. And then, of course, they can't replace it because, oh, they're out of them, you know? So, and then if you return this, you can't keep getting the other auto ships. If you always return the first auto ship, like let's say you didn't like it, um, they're going to cancel the whole auto ship program. I think once I've returned something and they, they left the auto ship, pieces which I was like oh so I just didn't say anything I just stayed quiet about it because normally they cancel the whole thing so yeah it's a real bummer so I'm sorry hopefully uh, everyone else got their things um timely and not broken up um okay so we do have quite a few things in here obviously those gorgeous dies we got to use them I do see how they're using the corner dies which you know I think well, we'll see um, if we end up with those, you know, the embossing. Like, this one just has the embossing and then the little plates looking on the china cabinet there. Um, this one has, you know, much more going on with the uh, dies. Really pretty. I mean, there's so many ways to layer this up. So we're just going to look at this and grab something. Put some stuff together. Not a huge fan of this one. Looks like a charger plate, I guess, but it's just, I don't, I don't know. What is that? Looks like maybe they cut out the embossed one. I don't know. Okay, again, here we are. Meat and potatoes right here. So pretty, and like I said, I've already gone over them in the unboxing, but looking forward to that. And if my nails are all chipped up, it's because um, I pulled tons of weeds yesterday. We have not been in the garden, you know, when spring comes around, it's like, gotta do it. So I water my plants, but I don't go out there and like weed and all that. So uh, basically all day session, went to Home Depot to pick up some new pots to repot things and put out new wood chips. So everything looks fresh and awesome. So that's really great. But it did chip a lot of my nails, like there, even though I was wearing gloves, of course. Um, I love this one. So we're going to start with this guy, the card blanks. And then I'm going to have to go through this. I'm sure we're going to use some of this gold for sure. Um, and I guess I have to kind of look at it and see what it is that we want to do, because we'll need that. I don't really know exactly like which of these papers I'll be using or if I'll be using them at all. So let me think about that part. And then that, maybe that'll help dictate. I don't know. They all coordinate, so it's not like... Maybe I should look at the base paper again. Base card that I'm looking at here. Yeah, this one's a little different print. We have a Royal Albert or Prince Albert, or what's it called? 
Ooh, that one's just, you know, really pretty. Is there one that matches that? This is pretty, but it has like the little lavender in there, which I guess we could bring in with the paper. Doo -doo -doo. Again, it has that lavender. This one's more orange and pinks. That's interesting. Hmm. Maybe on one like this. I feel like it's this one, but it does have other colors that go in there. Ay, ay, you know me, I don't want to cover that pretty little... We're going to have to cover it, aren't we? We are. Okay, let me go through this stuff and pick out what paper I might use and think about what it, what kind of layers I want to make, and I'll be right so back. There's a lot going on here. And so what I'm going to do is just to start off, I think I will use this pinky paper just so it pops a little bit. Um, I really love the look of the embossing, but if I do the embossing, it's going to cover almost the whole card and I want to show some of the card base so maybe that can be for a different card a different day or like one of the cards that's not as I would say ornate but they pretty much all are I, for that one what I would do is make my own card base because you're basically going to cover the whole thing um, if you want to use you know that way unless you want to trim it out with the die let me talk about that in just a second here so I'm gonna put these to the side for a second so like this die if you were to run through this beautiful thing you can cut out pretty much most of that with this. It's just not perfect, as you can see. I mean, there's areas that won't cut completely, but you would still have kind of like a roundish thing. I hope you can see what I'm saying. It's it's outside of those lines, but it'd be pretty, right? So that's something you can think of. But uh, for now, oh yeah, I mean, I'm gonna use this one. I'm gonna run it through this guy. Like I said, I guess I could cut this out and then give it some texture if we wanted, but it's not really going to matter because I'm going to use this one with the gold. And it's pretty much going to cover the whole thing. So, you know, doing the ooh, the embossing I don't think is going to... Ooh, let's be careful with this baby. So, I don't know if you can see you know, me when I get this off of here. These guys are just kind of attached by these little prongs here so they want to stay back so be careful not to bend those too badly okay uh i'm gonna run this through here i'm trying to see look at that. see what i'm mentioning i bent the heck out of that one uh, it'll be fine it'll smash back down in the machine i'm trying to think if i need to emboss this too if you have to run it back through let me look at the pictures and see if it looks like yeah, it has embossing. So, um, whatever die cutting machine you got. Oh, I'm sure people want to know if this will fit through the marquee. And it is four and three quarter ish circle. So I would say no. It's just like a half inch too big, which is a pretty good amount actually. So, okay, I am going to put this through, and then I'll pop it through again with a rubber mat to do the embossing. But whatever your system does, however you needed to do that for the embossing, that's fine. Uh, I'll cut this one out just like this, and then we'll look at some of the other items. So that's our basic card base for now. All right, I'll be right back. I quickly want to mention this paper does have a pattern to it. I mean, it looks like that's up. Maybe this other side's up. To me, that's what it feels like. And so I'm paying attention to how I'm going to cut it out because when I bring this in later with the gold, you know, it'll pop in like this. And we are going to cover this up, but I'm just saying, let's say you don't cover this up, or let's say you just want to use this for a different layer or however. Um... I'm putting it in a way that I like because if you just kind of do this and then later you move it It's gonna be at an angle right the pattern because Do you know what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense <laughs> So wherever you have a little bump, you know, because let's say that this is the bump at the top wherever It's just I'm just trying to see and make sure that wherever this bump is I have this pointing to it because if it was like right here, it'd be fine But you know my card that little bump would be up I hope that makes sense. I know it looks like Oh, well, you can just turn it, it's a circle, but yeah, but if you're off a little bit when you turn it, it's not, it's still not going to be pointing nicely in a direction. That's all I'm trying to say. So, I'm just going to tape this down <laughs> and run that through. I'll be right back. Major bummer. This, uh, I had put my little thing on the gold paper, you know, just in the corner so I can save some of this gold paper because that's how I am. And, um, it just missed that little piece. There's a little area where it's like squared off right here <laughs> but that's okay i'm gonna ignore that but let's uh don't be as frugal as i was trying to be actually i wasn't trying to be that frugal i was surprised i was like hey <laughs> and then um the paper takes up the whole gemini plate just so you guys can see i hope you can kind of see that so be careful because you know maybe it wouldn't even cut that area because you don't have a full mat in that area so um just know that i thought that was kind of strange when i got there i'm like hey 
And these are my plates, and look how bent they are, and I keep using them, and they're just fine. Um, and I, you know, I just, I, I don't do anything special with my plates, and people ask all the time, and I just use them, and again, I just try to use the least amount of pressure that gets the job done. And, um, and that's okay. I have several new plates, too, and I just, I just don't use them. <laughs> I'm like, eh. Okay, I'm gonna remove this very carefully. Ooh, ooh. I put the tape down here in the center, knowing it's gonna get covered up anyway, um, to hold on to this, because if we just put on the edges, it would cut away, and when I would go to emboss, maybe it would shift. So I was like, well, I'll put the tape in the center just to hold on. So that is very pretty. Very pretty, oh my gosh. All right, let's see what we got here. So I was gonna do this kind of thing. So anyway, like I said, the that area when I was talking about, you know, making sure it's facing the right way, it's gonna be covered anyway, but let's say you weren't gonna cover it. Let's say you're just gonna have this circle and I don't see how you wouldn't cover it because it's right in the center, but at least it's pointing in a good direction. If it was off a little bit, it would be kind of weird, right? So that's all, <laughs> that's all I was trying to get across there. Um, okay, let's see. So I'm gonna stick this down. I think I'm gonna stick it down completely and then have this popped off of the paper. And I'm telling you, what she should do is not make it pretty in the center because it breaks our heart to cover it, doesn't it? We're like, no, no. Um, but yeah, it's gonna have to happen because we have to put a sentiment and stuff. So, okay, I'm gonna glue this down for now. Just this layer, but you know, if you want to pop this up, pop it up from the bottom, pop, pop everything, pop it all, <laughs> get all that dimension. This is really pretty though. I think even without like the little plates. So, which is good because that means later when you just run out of all these little pieces, you can still make a really awesome card. Um, you know, just with the dies, of course, those dies are awesome. So pretty. Okay. I'm gonna try to, it's not super visible where I messed up. Like I can barely even see where it is, that one. Okay, let's lay this down carefully before it really sticks, cause I'm using that super sticky glue that loves to stick immediately. All right. All right, I'm gonna hold that down, just smooth it and I'll be right back. Okay, I am not even close to being done, almost. And I can say I love this kit. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, what I was looking for, and I should have grabbed that before I come in here like, ooh! <laughs> um, aye, aye, aye. It's kind of big, so I'm wondering, and this foam tape I kind of don't like. Again, it came in a Crafter's Companion kit a long time ago, a shaker card kit, and it's just super thick, like wide. I like their thinner tape, uh, foam and roll, whatever. So I'll use this because this is a little bit larger in that way. And I'm just putting it down now, that way I can, um, be ready and not have to stick this down later once I put things on top of it. I'm not really sure. Also, if I decide to put like, let's say those little triangle squares, the corner squares, corner triangles, oh my goodness. Um, I can just stick them in, in there and this is already up. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna stick this down yet. Because I haven't made my other choices. There's a lot of choices in this. <laughs> That's how these kits are. Right now I'm like thinking about, it, I'm like, hmm. So you can have kind of have an idea of how that might be. Lift it up like that, and then this guy will be on here. And you can, I'd rather kind of put this curve like with the little guy. I mean, you can line it up with the bigger guy, however you want to do that. Okay, let's say that's there. All right, I'm just not sure. I'm not sold on that plate with the background. I don't know why, but so pretty, so so pretty. I mean, I guess we could audition plates. That's what we can do, or mandalas, or however you want to look at it. It's supposed to be China. Um, you know, like, let's say you had that one. Ooh, that's a lot of gold going on. Hmm. You know, maybe I do like that better. Just because I can't find a plate that really matches that peachy, pinky, gorgeous color in the back. And then this one, of course, we would cover it up, and that's really pretty, too. Oh my gosh, apparently they all they all work. They all look great. I love how this one has a different shape than this back. Uh, okay, well let's just leave these out because apparently I'm changing my mind as we go here. And then we have all these pretty flowers. And there are tons of flowers. And I would say there have to be because like, look at this example. I'm like, Anna, girl, come on. 
like this one. This is kind of actually the card base I'm using. Look how many little flowers do, 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 on one card, right? There's tons. And then she even topped that with some more of the dies, which are very pretty. So I, you know, I don't know. Oh, I almost feel like maybe it does need another set of dies. Look at these guys. Let's say. Oh, I was gonna say this one, but this one matches way too much, doesn't it? Oh, maybe we need more of that pink paper cut down. Hmm. Hold on. I kind of like bringing that for my friend. That's pretty. But it just goes from the one to the next. See, it's a little more playful. That's interesting, right? The look of it. A little more elegant here. Um, I'm thinking... Oopsie. Oh no, I dropped one and I'll never find it again. Um, and there are some in here that are a little bit smaller and some a little bit bigger. I don't know if you can see that. I'm looking for that, that bigger. <laughs> Let's go with that. Your kindness warms my heart. The sticker's crooked, but I can mess with that a little bit. Maybe something like that. Just because it's a little bit bigger. I would like another little frill, but let's say we had this on here. Hmm. Let me see this die. If we use this pretty lady, she's going to cover a lot of that gold, which is fine, I guess. We're at the get used to it. <laughs> um, or you can even do a whole other round of the pink and the gold, right? This pink or coral color and then this one in gold. This is so hard. I want to just do more pink, though. Okay, I'm going to run this one right here ah, through more of the same paper and there are two sheets of each paper so obviously the first one takes up a lot of the paper there's this one I mean there's also other colors we can use you don't have to go with that but I just wanted to bring more of that pinky peach color coral color so I'm gonna run this through um, and rubber emboss and all that and I will be right back all right Okay, good. I was like, did I do this right? Anyway, uh, yeah. There we go. Oops. I came down here earlier. I can see the light was on on my Gemini. I was like, oh no. <laughs> I use the Gemini Junior and the Empress right in front of me here most often. But uh, I always put my plates back on top of the machine and then I go and do other things and I forget that I left it on. And I thought it turned off after a while, but I guess not because <laughs> literally it was on all night. Okay, let's see here. Let's get this out carefully. Oh my goodness. Oh, I was going to mention this one also has on the back side, it has this, the plain color I mentioned on the unboxing. So if you wanted to do it from this side, yeah, that's great too. Let's see here. Ejector buttons. Here we go. Some of this paper I can see cracked really bad, actually. Eey. I even poked all the way through it. What is up with that? I probably should have sprayed it with some water. Okay, so this paper likes to crack. I don't know if you can see that. It doesn't look bad because it looks distressed, but, like, I was able to poke completely through this one. Here, you see that? So, uh, maybe spray it with some water before we do that. Or maybe that's too much pressure. Uh, don't use, like, the metal shim in the, um, the creating of this. <laughs> that's not bad, though. Actually, if you want to make it look more... If we want to do that on purpose, let's save this little piece. We can come in and give her a little some scrapings and see. Now it looks like, oh, that's what she wanted. <laughs> All right. There we go. Okay. Now let's look at this. Oh, let's not do this wrong. There we go. And I'm not sure if I was going to have it like this or the roundness up, but either way. And then we have this pretty lady. And then we have this. Yes, I like that. And then we have this. And I don't know if you can see the sticker is offset, right? Is it me? The sticker is going that way, is it not? Let me fix that without damaging this too much. Ugh. I'm going to do something. Here we go. Letter opener. <laughs> I need to get down in there without like trying to crunch the paper too much. I'm sure whatever I do is going to be that much better. <laughs> It'll probably still be crooked. All right. See? 
All right, actually, it has a little bit of stickiness, but I guess if you want to do that, you could do that and use this for something else, but hold on. Okay, I'm gonna look at this straight over. Try to make sure it's a little more straight. Like I said, I'll probably stick it down crooked again. <laughs> that was pretty crooked, so there. It's a little trick, you guys, if you need to fix yours. It was just a little too much to the left there, okay. All right, now, more layers. What layers are we doing? So I'll go ahead and stick this one down. Sorry, here, I'm just gonna take the backs off of all this. I'll be right back. Let me see if it's more round. Look at all these little pretty, beautiful things we're covering up. Oh, it breaks my heart. But I think if I do it this way, you can see a little bit more than if, they're probably on the same, I don't know. Maybe not. Let's just go this way, I guess, like I planned. <clears throat> now, if I'm gonna stick this guy down flat, then these guys need some dimension. I was gonna say, you can dimension all of it, but you know, to a certain point, it gets a little bit crazy. So let's <laughs> put this one down flat. You basically are not gonna see any of this print in the background, so it doesn't really matter how I choose to put this. All right. And maybe like that. I'm just looking at these little waves as points and waves. Okay, I'm gonna hold that down for a second. I'm gonna glue these two together. So I'm just gonna put some glue on this because plus more than this guy. And oh, again, this one has the same kind of points as the other one, so do you wanna match those up? I do, so I'm gonna try to do that. All right, I'll be right back once these are set up. Okay guys, so on this one, we're just gonna have some dimension and then, you know, whatever of the flowers, however you wanna put them, we'll look at that in a minute. And like right in here and I can just tuck all that stuff in. Do, 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 so cute. They're a little bit lower. I'm trying to see because there's like a middle ring here. Sure. <laughs> I'm looking at the distance here. It looks like it should go up a little bit this way, maybe. Okay. All right, fine. So pretty. Now this guy is. Let's go. And I guess I'll go through here and <laughs> see what of these hundreds of flowers. Maybe it's not hundreds, but I feel like it's hundreds. Um, do I want to use? And I will... Look at, I mean, they're so pretty, there's so many, and just, that's the same one as that one, which I do like symmetry sometimes. Like if we were to put these here, but that looks like maybe tucked in too much. So, okay, let me look at what we got, and I'll oh be right gosh, back. You guys, there is so much in this. This is so pretty. I, I'm thoroughly enjoying this kit. I mean, we had to work some things out, and then, you know, tried, I just, you know, this is so pretty, and I thought, well, look on the other side, but then what if we just did one little rose on this side with that little spray there? Look at this one. <gasps> I mean, look at all these little flowers. Like, just tons of, ooh. Oh my gosh. I feel like if I only put the two, it's like too little, you know? Just because we have so many and we can play with. So pretty. You know, I don't know if I need to bring in a red flower with all the pink on here, but it's nice to mix and match. I think I'll do that, and I think I'll leave that little guy. I mean, there's this guy, kind of bigger. Or like this one, maybe. Oh, that's so hard to decide. Maybe that one, because he's a little bit bigger, so he draws your eye a little bit more. Okay. I mean, this is ridiculous. Look <laughs> how pretty look at this one. And then there's some in here that are just, like, um, down here. Like, still floral, but really pretty. And then you can put them in the corners. Oh, my gosh. This is just ridiculous pretty. Okay. All right, so we'll do those. And yes, these are stickers, and yes, I always forget. So, uh, and a lot of times I honestly prefer to use a wet glue because that way I know it's gonna stick. I mean, they're nice and sticky, but you know, with all the different layers and stuff, when you're looking at it, you're like, okay, is that gonna end up staying? But I kinda wanna tuck that in. But I want, I want the greenery to show so it stands out right from the pink. So I don't wanna cover too much of the greenery up. And this one looks like a spray, but it might just be straight. It's kinda hard to tell. Like, is it a spray? Is it a stem? Is it, I don't know. That's okay. All right, guys, that is it. 
I hope you had fun kind of, you know, walking through the steps and these are the choices I made. Obviously everyone's going to make different choices and they're just so pretty. I mean, there's so much to do with this. I love it. I wish there were refills. I'm like, oh, I'm going to be so sad when the papers run out, the card blanks. But um, I just love it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you're having fun with yours. And I'll see you guys uh, possibly later today. But again, like I said, it's been like one video that I can make in the morning and then possibly a lunch video for, you know, a later time. And then that's it because everyone's here um i do want to go live at some point i know especially with the twenty thousand, that i, I, I would have just gone live at that moment but it just doesn't work out right now with everybody being home and you know we're just spending time and all that kind of stuff so all right guys i will see you at the next one bye now sorry i was putting things away i was just thinking i wanted to mention i was like there's something i want this is going to be awesome with the square compendium i have her square compendium die set or any square card really but um that one has you know all kinds of dies, obviously, that we can fit all these different things in later whenever we're out of our uh, different papers and things. Um, or like these little things that we can just mix and match. It's going to be awesome. I love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. All right, guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll be I'll see you at the next one. Bye now.